Very good. Oh, I have a question. Right. On to the next item. Tree trimming services. Mayor, I have a question regarding that item that we just discussed. Um, Bob, I don't know if you, you, you know the answer to this or somebody else here will know the answer. Are there any other challenges or obstacles um, we have at, uh, that we have discussed either at a committee level or that you're aware of that will prevent us from moving forward at this point? Um, yeah, the biggest, biggest one is, you know, how much, right. we, well, well, how much we can afford. In addition to all those items yeah. that we already discussed. Yeah, the, I, I think the items that were on the list, the money, um, money, 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 <laughs> money, money, and, uh, yeah, the mayor. The, there, there were some, the challenge of possibly needing to phase it in if, um, for example, the one soccer field that uh, kind of points from upper left to lower right, and the pit, the, uh, the lower right end of it could be encroaching into wetlands. So let's say money was not up, uh, an issue, mm -hmm. but it took, we had to go to DEP for permits. That could be a couple year process. Right. So you maybe get started on the other fields and that's a grass field for the interim. So mm -hmm. it's, until TNM certainly starts working on it and everything else starts coming together, we, there, there will be other hurdles. Yeah, it's, okay. it's just like I said, um, with Lincoln Place, this is, not, we're not there yet. This is a step to keep it moving. Yep. Uh, Mayor, yes, if I may. Uh, Jeannie, I think I could try and help you push this forward. Um, I was in attendance also at the uh, meeting last week. I think the key to this whole process right now is to go out, get the permits. We can't come up with a price because we don't know what is really wetlands, what the DEP is going to let us mm -hmm. do, what they won't let us do. So to to make any decisions or to even talk about, you know, uh, the amount of money it's really going to cost is, is not, this isn't the time for it. We have no idea. There are some other things that we talked about in the meeting, which we can talk offline later if you want, or you can talk to Bob, certainly, that will, you know, allow us to do certain things with this, depending on what the DEP comes back with. But I think at the moment, we just, the time is, is the timing of this is so important that we really do have to go out and get the permitting so we can find out. Yeah. And until we do that, no answer. If I may add to that, Mayor? Yes. yes, uh, yes yeah. First of all, we, we all know this, this is going to be a beautiful project. And uh, as far as I can see it, we, we need a good plan. And the plan, uh, it's going to cost a lot of money. But if it's like anything else. If you buy a new home or something and, uh, and it has to be fixed up, you do things in stages. You take your priorities. And you do one at a time. In other words, uh, there's no way... Uh, we don't even know what's involved, but to, to get this thing going, uh, and again, like I said, it takes a good plan, and it don't have to be at all done at once. It could be a 10-year plan, and every year we do whatever has to be done to get it to the point that it could be a masterpiece. It could be something we all could be proud of. That's it, Mary. Thank you. Anyone else? Okay, on to tree trimming service bid. Uh, the, a local bidder, Honor Tree is the lowest bidder. It's a three-year contract. We have the right in the second year, if we don't have adequate funds available, um, not to award the contract. He's the lowest responsible bidder, has provided excellent work to the borough over the years. It's Honor Tree, Ernie Nash, and this is recommended um, and is funded in the proposed 2010 budget. Any questions? Dr. Esposito. Yes, they, they're um, request one and request two. What does that uh, mean? I mean, it totals uh, $194, but there are two separate requests, one and request two, both $97. I believe it refers to the nature of the equipment used if a bucket truck was required or the height of the tree, uh, but I will get you the specific copy of the bid so you can see what it refers to. So your question is whether why is one ninety seven an hour and why is one one hundred and ninety four an hour? Well there's two ninety seven for request one and request two, okay. which totals one hundred and ninety four. But I just want to know what that request one and request two is. I guess it has to do with equipment or man, okay. man. I'll, I'll get you more detail. Extra I don't have man or whatever. Yeah, but the the thing is is that this is an apples to apples bid. Correct. And this is still the lowest bid of right. the Plus he's local. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. You love Madison. Love Madison. Shop Madison. Madison. Right. Okay. <laughs> Mrs. Sukumoto. Thank you. 
uh, question, Ray, regarding uh, why do we choose to go for hourly contract rate versus a fixed price contract in this case? Um, one is because we couldn't get bidders to, to submit because we couldn't quantify adequately the level of the work because some of the work is subjective in the sense that we'll have a windstorm perhaps our on, on Wednesday we'll have a snowstorm. We may have significant trees down. There's no way of computing that or for a bidder to quantify that because they don't know how, what type of events weather related will have during the course of the year. So they, the bidders in order to solicit, solicit competition prefer to bid if, to be risk adverse from their side on a time and material basis on an hourly. So if we need them for 10 hours, they bill us for 10 hours. So this contract is for emergency basis This is emergency. only? This is not the not line. Not the maintenance. No, we have a line clearing contract, which is different, which is normally awarded to Nelson, and that's for the electric utility to clear the lines, uh, the trees away from, to interfere with the electric Thank lines. Thank you. You answered the but, question. But, but, I couldn't. But it's not just emergency. It, it is some maintenance. Traditional ma right. maintenance trimming, but non electric related. Correct. And, and right. it is not tree removal, which is another. That's separate another separate contract. contract. And that, that's tree removal, you could probably give them more of a flat fee, but based on the size of trees. But so this is a very. You know, How much do we spend um, last year for this type of service? Uh, I will get it for you. I don't have it. I'll, okay. I'll circulate it tomorrow. Thank you. The, uh, does anyone else have any questions? This will be listed on the consent agenda. Can then. I ask another oh. one? Oh. Did you get your package in time? Do I? Go ahead. I'll, just, just, I'll make a quick, <laughs> just, just make a quick, 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 <laughs> quick comment. This is asset preservation also, that if you don't trim the trees on a regular basis, you spend a whole lot more in uh, emergency uh, tree removal or trees that have fallen down. So. I don't know if that related to your next question. Um, kind of, but I can ask Ray later on. Okay. Good. All right. The uh, appropriation of $30,000 for the 2010 sanitary sewer pump station repairs at Shunpike, West End, and Treadwell pump stations. I, I can talk to actually both items six and seven. Normally, we would take these as a matter of discussion during the capital budget process. Uh, in effect, we're taking them out of order because the engineer, uh, based on inspection and conditions of both facilities, has identified these as emergent matters. The sewer, uh, the item number six is because we don't have a separate sewer utility, would be funded to that dollar figure of $30,000 out of the general capital improvement fund for emergent repairs. The, the, the equipment is actually non-functioning at that location. Same applies to item seven except that was for a dollar value of $60,000, and because it involves water, we have the electric, excuse me, we have the water cap capital improvement fund available to fund that work. And if it was not, if these were not emergent matters, we would defer them until our budget hearing on capital budgets in March, but these can't wait. And that's the recommendation of the engineer, our outside consultant, and the borough engineer. All right, both of these, any questions? This will be listed on the, uh, for introduction. Can I still ask okay. questions? Sure. sure. <laughs> yeah, <I'm not. laughs> okay. Um, do we have a maintenance plan um, with schedule repair and upgrade for all these um, pump stations and also for the other item? We do, and if you reflect back on a couple prior years' budgets for the general capital improvement and water capital improvement, a number of these items were on, but were not funded. And mm -hmm. as, they, as we don't fund, they don't improve by themselves. They continue to deteriorate. They've now deteriorated to a point that they're non-functioning. So that's why we're doing that as an emergency. Okay. Yes, there is a replacement plan. It's a five-year plan. 